In this video, I want to talk about some body cam footage I came across on the Atlanta Police Department YouTube channel where police officers just engaged in good old-fashioned police work to catch someone who decided to commit a robbery against another person and needed to be caught. <laughs> All right, I just want to say that I personally liked how the detective who arrived on scene said, I need to see your camera. She didn't say it in a rude way, but she just made it clear like, this is serious. I need to see the cameras in the tactful way that she did. Look, I understand I'm interrupting the video. I can't let it play all the way through because I think I'll get in trouble on YouTube for doing that. But I must say, when I worked as a police officer, let me tell you what, larceny suspects and robbery suspects really felt a passion and a purpose of, because me personally, I couldn't stand whenever someone decided to steal from a store or rob from other people. It's just wrong. And I'm glad there are police officers showing up each and every day to continuously try to catch people that decide to do this kind of stuff. Put your hands up. I, Come here. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. I don't got that. 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 Chiefs. Chiefs at, at, uh, at gunpoint right now. Stay where you are. Stay where you are. Walk that way. Walk that way. Walk that way. Okay. Walk that way. Put. Lift it up. Lift it up. Lift it up. Okay. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. What you locking me up for? Turn around. Oh, what Turn around. What I do? Why you put handcuffs on for y'all? I ain't do nothing. I ain't got no gun. 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 I ain't Hold up, hold up, hold up. Everybody back up real quick. Chill, 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 chill. Chill, chill for a minute. Everybody back up, all right? You notice how when the officer drew down on him and ordered the man to put his hands up, the guy started saying that he didn't have a gun, that he didn't do anything wrong. People who typically haven't done anything wrong just cooperate and don't back up like they have anything to hide. But it was good that he kept his hands visible. But then I liked how the sergeant right there who helped detain the suspect, he was very cool about it. You could tell he's used to people surrounding the, the police, you know, a acting as if they're doing the wrong thing all the time. And then he started saying, y'all just chill for a little bit, back up. But he said it in a really professional way. I can't stand when I see videos of police officers like almost taking it personal that people are watching them or filming them. And while it can be a safety issue at times, I think this sergeant and the other officers handle it great. I used to hate it when people would run. I would run after them, game on, but I used to hate it when people would run. But man, isn't it great to see like when officers don't lose their composure and they're in good enough physical shape to one, run after someone, but second, like he conveyed clearly on the radio. He repeated himself over where they were headed, what the guy was wearing, that kind of stuff. It's all so crucial. And yeah, with time and experience of unfortunately in having to engage in foot chases, officers do acquire like the secondhand knowledge and instinct 
to give out the le- next location and communicate with others because it is what it is. When you communicate with responding officers, it just helps everybody and it decreases the chances of someone getting away, which we don't want to happen considering it's already frustrating enough he escaped one time. <laughs> Twenty six eighty, we good, we good, we good. Man, I love to see it whenever suspects get caught. Look at the majority of officers on this video. They appear to be in shape, which I have preached until I'm blue in the face about the fact that officers must value and prioritize physical conditioning so they can perform the duties of the job, but also run people down. It is what it is. People are going to run. I don't encourage it ever, but look, people are going to run and you can't stop it. You got to be able to go after them. And yes, with age, it gets harder to run after people. But when you communicate with each other like these APD officers did and, and they converge on an area because of good communication, man, it was great to see this man caught, especially whenever they got close to him and they gave very clear demands and said it was a level of authority and just took charge of the situation. But good police work done by the Atlanta Police Department. I was very fortunate to speak back in the spring of this year to the Atlanta Police Department command staff. I met a lot of great people. And also when I arrived at the location where the meeting was, I mean, it was early. The sun hadn't even come up yet. I saw several police recruits there to attend training. They looked sharp. They were very polite. And it was just great to see so many still answering the call to work as police officers so that they could do the work like this to catch people who decided to rob, steal, do all these things that nobody should ever do to another person. So if you're interested in getting into law enforcement or in the process of getting into law enforcement or you're new to the profession, then don't forget to click the link below on my free ebook for you on how to start strong in your law enforcement career, build that foundation, be successful, which means doing good for others, but also being very knowledgeable about the job, continuous training and staying in shape so that you can do what they just did in catching people who run and so many other things. Take care of yourself and I look forward to talking to you again in another video.